Now today, William Ruto was supposed to attend or officiate a global peace conference, which is happening in Nairobi here, and actually happening at Radisson Blue Hotel. Remember, last week, one of the hashtags which were trending was the Radisson Blue, Occupy Radisson Blue. And when you talk of Radisson Blue, you know, it is a big, cheap hotel. It's a, it's, a, it's a serious one, for that matter. So, we were to have very high voltage, high dignitaries from Africa and beyond coming to grace this occasion. In fact, we, we even had Raila Odinga was supposed to be there today. And William Bruto was blocked. The organizers actually decided that we are not going to continue with this because of what they saw. In fact, from their words, from their own statements, I'm going to play for you that clip. They have really said that they can't go against the people. So things are very serious. A old president is now looking like he's being confined. In fact, even Raila Odinga has not attended it. I stake, you know, leaders and dignitaries like Olesek Nobasanjo, the former president of Nigeria, was supposed to be there. Dignitaries from a cross-sectional divide in Africa was supposed to be there. So the, the conference is Global Peace Conference. Uh, why is the president, number one, not attending? And number two, uh, was it his decision or your decision as the F Global Peace Foundation? Thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, uh, I, I, I really thank uh, KTN uh, for coming here at Tradition Blue. Um, indeed, we uh, expected uh, the official opening ceremony uh, to kick off today from 10 o'clock. Uh, but uh, we have decided, in light of the events that went on yesterday, not to go ahead with the official opening ceremony. So the position is that uh, the official opening ceremony, uh, which was supposed to be addressed by His Excellency the President and other leaders, will not go on. You know, because as you know, we have had, um, you know, uh, even on social media, you know, some of those protesters were saying they will occupy Radisson Blue. You know. So we do not want to, uh, to be a scapegoat you know, for anything that may happen. So as a peace organization, we take seriously matters to do with peace and um, we want to give opportunity uh, for the Kenyan people, you know, for the government and the Kenyan people to be able to calm down the situation. As you know, we have hundreds of delegates who have come you know, from all over the you know, continent and all over the world, they're here. Uh, but you know, for the protesters who have been saying that they will occupy here, so we decided that, um, you know, we would rather not go ahead with the official opening ceremony, you know, and we proceed with the other discussions, the tracks, the other tracks, you know, the other sessions will go on um, as planned. But what we are not having is the official opening ceremony, uh, which he sections the president and other leaders who are supposed to address. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so going forward. What are we learning from everything that is happening right now? In the corporate setting, William Ruto has lost the standing. In the political setting, setting he has lost the standing. The international setting, he has lost everything. And also I was looking at how Safaricom CEO Peter Ndegwa came out to apologize. You know, things are very serious right now. The corporate world has seen the real effect that, you know, the people can actually dispense. It is the people that are sustaining the corporate sector. In fact, in the corporate language, the people or the customers, you can call them any term that is relatable, they are stakeholders, very key. So Peter Daigo actually came out to apologize to Kenyans based on what happened yesterday. You remember yesterday there was this conversation which, uh, you know, people were really aggrieved and people were really much agitated that Safaricom went to bed with the government. First of all, they leaked um, the data of Wanainchi and gave it to the government so that the government can actually spy, trail, trace people. And that is one of the reasons why you are seeing the frontiers of the JZ demos are being abducted. Very, very, very much serious. Most of these telecommunication companies, when they go to bed with the government, that is what the government intends to do. And at the same time, there was this conversation that Safaricom was being misused, mishandled. We had the slow internet connectivity and they came out to give, to give actually um, an official statement about that. And so Safaricom CEO right now has come out to apologize. And I've seen Kenyans have not really embraced his apology. Everything that is coming from these big companies and from the government side, they're being repelled. They're being repelled like no other. Things are not like before. I think the turning point was yesterday. The turning point was yesterday. If Safaricom was very serious, you remember the time of public participation of the bill, 
what were they saying? They, were, they rejected the finance bill. And right now, people are asking Degwa, please tell us what your stand. Right now, we don't want to know any other thing. Tell us your stand. Do you support the bill or not? If you support it, tell us. If you don't, don't beat around the bush. So if Safaricom was serious, they need to maintain the stand that they had at the time when they were, you know, presenting their, their part in the public participation. Good morning. I want to start by appreciating and acknowledging all our customers who have reached out to us here at Safaricom, and specifically to me, raising a number of issues or concerns which I want to respond in this video message. On the onset, I want to pass my deep condolences to the believed families and friends of those who lost their lives during the recent protests. I want to acknowledge and appreciate those who exercised their civic right uh, to participate in peaceful uh, protests. Your actions and your courage speak highly of our democracy. Now turning on to some of the recent issues and developments uh, which have been raised with us and with me. The first is, I want to start by sincerely apologizing uh, for our network outage that started on the 25th of June. This network outage was occasioned or caused uh, by uh, reduced bandwidth on some of the internet, some of the cables that carry our internet traffic. Please note that this did not only affect Safaricom, but also affected the whole industry. We are doing everything to ensure that we give you the service that you deserve and also we bring back service as soon as possible. Uh, Safaricom uh, is known as a Kenyan company, has Kenyan roots uh, and serves all Kenyans without discrimination and will continue to do so now and in the future. Now turning on to the topic of the Finance Bill 2024. I wanted it to be on record that Safaricom, like many corporates and also the broader industry, presented its views to the government and also to parliament as part of the public participation process. And our views uh, and presentations are well documented and recorded. Now, turning on to recent social media comments, that Safaricom discloses information about customers or their location. I want to be very emphatic that Safaricom does not disclose customer information or their location. We adhere to the laws of the land in terms of data privacy and, and we have done so in the past and will continue to do so now and also in the future. I also want to say that Safaricom is deeply rooted in Kenyan society, believes in Kenya uh, and also the resilience of Kenyan people. The Kenyan people have always been known to bounce back from any challenge and I'm sure we will bounce back better from this one. Finally, uh, I want to reiterate my message that please as our customers we are pleased for you to continue to reach out to us and to reach out to me directly with any issue that you have. And personally, I'll ensure uh, that your issue is resolved by our team and myself. And also, we want you to continue to give us uh, feedback on areas that we can improve and we commit to make sure that we continue to give you great service and always own secure and safe network and also mobile uh, money uh, services. Thank you for listening and have a great day.